we're going to do some work on rules for linear sequences. Linear sequences are something that you will have done before. A list of numbers and you have to find the next one in the sequence. So this builds upon that. A linear sequence is a number pattern which increases or decreases by the same amount every time. So let's have it a linear sequence. Here's the start of a sequence. So we have 1, 2 and 4. We might think about what would come next. But here you can see that there's some disagreement about which number could be next. Katie says the next term is 7, but then Dan says the next term is 8. They could both be right, but why? Pause the video and write down your answer. It's sometimes quite difficult to know what's happening with the sequence, but some sequences it's quite straightforward. So let's have a look at this one. We have the numbers 1, 3, 5 and 7. Let's have a think of some questions that will help us find the rule to describe that sequence. Firstly, by how many does the sequence increase each time? Okay, so we know that the sequence goes up in twos. And we know of another sequence that goes up in twos, the two times table. But if we were thinking about the two times table, we would have two, four, six, eight. We want to start with one. So clearly our sequence is a little bit different. So if my two times table would start with two, what can I do to my sequence to make that 2 become a 1. That's right, I could take 1 away from it. So as I'm looking at my sequence, I notice that each 1 is a multiple of 2, take away 1. One of the terms that we use to describe sequences or parts of sequences is we use the, the um, term, term. This, the first number in our sequence is called term one. The next number in the sequence is called term two. So it's just a way of labeling each of the numbers so we know what their position is in the sequence. As you can see, the next one will be there highlighted and that one will be term three. So the first term, we multiply by 2 and then take away 1. 1 times 2 is 2, take away 1 and we get the sequence 1. The second part of the sequence is term number 2. If we have 2, lots of 2, and then take away one, we get three. And I think you can see how this then follows on for each part of the sequence. Here's the sequence here. What do you notice about the difference between each of the terms in the sequence? That's right, they go up in threes. We also know that multiples of threes also count up in threes. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, and so on. But we're not starting with three. 
we're starting with 4. So we must have to do something to those multiples of 3 to get our 4. And, of course, what we can do is we can add 1. So in that case, our rule would be to multiply by 3 and then to add 1. And that would give us the rule for that sequence. This time we've got 2, 6, 10, 14, 18. Our sequence goes up in 4s, which is like the 4 times table. However, we're not starting with 4, we're starting with 2. So what do we have to do to change the 4 to a 2? So in this sequence, we know that we are multiplying by 4 because each of the terms is increasing by 4. And then to change that starting value from a 4 to a 2, we know we've got to take away 2. So that's how we make this sequence. We multiply the term number by 4 and then we take away 2. Write down the rules for the sequences on this page. If you want to have a go at a challenge question, have a go at the checks question at the bottom. Bring these into class and we'll go through them together. Pause the video now while you do the rules for each of these sequences. Now, to finish, look at the following sequence. We have 3, 8, 13 and 18. Can you work out what the next two terms will be? How did you work it out? What's the rule? If you want to challenge yourself, have a think about this question. Why wouldn't the term 387 be in the sequence? Bring all of your answers into class and we'll have a look at them together.